Okay, everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome to JFD Invest, and uh, welcome to this monthly quick review of the top three best performing strategies. Um, in this case, it will be February. So, yep, welcome everyone. Um, so, I hope you can see and hear me clearly. Um, as always, guys, before we start um, joining in, jumping in, and uh, reviewing everything, um, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So, um, so basically, I'll give you a few minutes to read the rest, but uh, I'll read a quick part of it. So JFD does not provide investment advice or investment recommendations, any opinions, news, research, analysis, prizes, or other information or any other material provided by JFD or associated companies or employees is provided as general market commentary and does not constitute investment advice or a solicitation as it does not take into account your personal circumstances so please do not trade or invest basically sold on this information so um yeah guys i'll give you like i said a few um seconds to read the rest and we can continue Okay, so um, so I hope you're all having a wonderful day today, guys. So, yep, as always, um, in this type of videos, in this type of webinars, we'll have a quick review of um, the best uh, top three uh, performing strategies for, um, uh, for fe uh, in this case, it will be February. So, yep, guys, um, so let's not waste any more time. And, uh, yep, let's take a closer look. Now, um, the top three best performing strategies for on JOD and Invest platform were uh, for the for the month of February 2010 20 um, was Hyperion who managed to <clears throat> return a fantastic th plus 32.63 percent um, gain um, in in February. Uh, then we we had the Hunter the so called uh, the Hunter. And uh, then it was the PIP generator as well. So, um, by the way, the PIP generator um, was um, one of the top ones um, uh, seen last uh, last month. So basically, um, also another good stable result here for this in uh, for this uh, strategy. So, but yep, like I said, we'll have a quick uh, look and see what's happening um, in there. So. Um, let me just quickly jump into our website. So basically, this is our web website and the um, the JFD Invest you can find here on, on the top. Um, and if you click on JFD Invest here, then it will take you to this page. So, but I'm already uh, logged in. So basically, I've, I've saved a little bit of time. Um, so let's start fresh. So here we have the menu, and uh, if we click on the Find Strategy, it will take us to the list of all the uh, strategies that we have here on JD Invest. And uh, basically, we'll fil filter this one right now by last month. We can see those those three top ones, uh, the ones that I've mentioned, uh, the Hyperion, uh, the Hunter, and the uh, Pip Generator. So um, yes, guys. For now, let's take a closer look, let's closer look at the top or one, top one. Um, this one is uh, an interesting one. Yes, it did uh, show good result um, in in February. You can see here from the previous uh, monthly returns. Um, now, if we look at the graph, the graph very quickly, you can see a huge spike here to the upside um, in the whole growth uh, chart. Um, so, yep. For now, I mean, th this this uh, this in this strategy performed very well in February. I mean, like we can see that in January, maybe it wasn't the best performer, but um, it kind of recovered everything uh, and and managed to cover all these losses made in January and February. Um, you can see the previous trading uh, kind of pre previous activity here. Um, although the 2019 year was not maybe the best one for this strategy, but uh, it only kind of came back with a one. 
2018, 60.90% percent. Um, on in 2018, this this strategy came back with a 66.44%. Uh, so very very good result. I mean now the um, for now the in uh, the strategy is on, also on good track. Um, it came back with a total for now it's at a sitting at a total of 6.05%. I mean March is not maybe looking good for the strategy but nevertheless um it overall overall uh, it can it comes back with a good um with a good result i mean because um also if uh, if we see the description here of the strategy or it is recommended to keep uh the holding period for, uh, to keep it at uh, around one year um in order to kind of uh, let's say uh, benefit from uh from uh, potential uh pot well potential gains here i mean we can only judge from from the uh from the previous activity of course um uh, but nevertheless guys um, looking at this picture here, you can see that the, the strategy came back very well in February. Um, the instruments that it, it, it covers and it trades in, um, these are mainly indices and commodities. I mean, the, there are a few pairs here, but as you can see by the amount of trades, mainly the, the, the strategy is focused around uh, the German DAX and the uh, US uh, Dow uh, index. So um, you can see there's a lot of trades happening there. I mean, very good. Uh, profitable kind of res results here you can see uh, also by the profit factor but the uh, i mean the best result of course here is on gold um although it's there were only there were only 66 trades here made um still still it's it came back uh the profit factor here is uh, at a top here as you can see it came back with a uh, 80 89.39 percent profitable trade so basically something to keep in mind something to consider of course in the future if you um one of these strategies of course like i said guys um we do have the numbers here maybe uh do fluctuate a little bit but overall this strategy in the end of the year performs well and shows good 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 results so of course uh don't get me wrong the i mean the past results are not an indication of future ones that's that's obvious um everybody should kind of remember that but nevertheless we can uh go from what we have and uh in general i mean looking at these figures figures they're quite okay i would say um of, of course um the equity to balance deviation or in other words maybe somebody could look at this one as a as a drawdown um you can see that it's slightly on the higher side um especially here and in january and february and especially february um but don't get me wrong i mean we uh in february was uh was quite a um a, a very um a very volatile month and uh, a very um kind of uh difficult one i would say as well so um basically you can of course as you as you follow the markets i mean you can see that uh these are the drops that we had and for example this is the um this is dax here and that i've got here on my chart and uh in a way um you can see that the the strategy here this hyperion um was kind of focusing on on this um on this index and if we look at the uh, for example closed trades here you can see that yes it was uh one of the instruments that was traded um and you can see good results showing here um one good thing about this strategy is the fact that although uh, there um, is a decent amount of money under management here um, we, you can see that we have about 98,000 um, in under management um, still for example you can see that the trades that are made are the volumes of those trades I mean the size of those trades isn't that big so basically a good risk uh, management here in a way is working so um, not kind of going overboard i'm not going crazy here so in a way this like i said it is showing good signs here and uh, it is quite di diversified you can see by the number of trades here and the uh, number of different um uh, kind of instruments uh, traded so yep something to keep in mind something to consider guys um now I wanted to jump into another uh, strategy very quickly. So this one's going to be the high, the hunter. Um, this is a new one that got in the lead um, he, this month. I mean, last month we didn't see it here, but um, it was showing good results last month as well. But uh, let me just jump into this one very quickly. So 
you can see that of course um, it did have its um, kind of uh, uh, bad days it did have a few bad days but as we can see now you can uh, the the strategy is pushing higher it's uh, in February it came back with 7.14 percent um, March right now so far it's it's also trading in the green um, yes 2019 was not the best year for it and but 2018 was so something um, something good here so it came back with 8.99 percent uh, overall gain um, as I said right now this year it's performing uh, quite well I would say um, it, like I said it came back in February with 7.14 um, percent and now it's currently sitting at 1.32 percent so we'll keep an, a close eye on this one um, instruments that are traded here are well there's only one instrument and that's mainly USD JPY so the strategy kind of um, focuses here mainly on the um, on, on breakouts and um, open range breakouts on a 15 minute chart um, so yep in a way of course don't get me wrong I mean some some of you might like that diversification some might not this one is this strategy is more for a, um, a one inch kind of a strategy and uh, in a way it, it does have its benefits as well and so it's not really trying to um, focus on too many of, of, of assets it's just picking one and if it works and uh, we can see the results are showing that yes the strategy does work and uh, yep you can see by the closed trades here as well uh, where the trades were made were done and uh, something to keep an eye on on as well guys um, like I said very nice uh very nice results here in february i we hope it's going to continue like i said this is if if you have not um put this one on your radars definitely you could do that um you sh you should probably have a look at this one and just to see of course if it's something that you like yes consider it and uh well let's see how this is going to perform uh further for now it's does show good results um, let's see like I said let's see how this is going to perform further um, jumping into the last strategy and this one is the pip generator now the pip generator um, uh, we saw this one um, last uh, in the last video uh, last last month's video um, so the pip generator was the uh, the top performer uh, in January and let me just quickly find this one there we go so pip generator um, overall return here for for now is the 8.80 percent so that's not bad um, and uh, for this year and let me just wait for it to load up so there we go so basically um, since the start of the year here you can see that the strategy is doing quite well don't get me wrong 2019 as well was not the best um, the best year for the strategy although the pre the, the year before that 2018 showed very good results at 18.40 uh, percent so um, for now uh, for now guys uh, yes we will uh, we will keep an eye on this one and uh, also we can see that this strategy is focusing mainly on one instrument as well and that's GBP USD so um, in a way of course don't get me wrong um, like I said like in the previous one where I mentioned that some of you might like the diversification some of you not but again if if something works here well for for the strategy why not to keep it and why not to just continue running it so in, in here uh, like I said the strategy mainly uses GBP USD um, you can see by the trades here that are done um, also the size of the trades you can see that those are not on the high side so although there is a, a decent amount of uh, money under management here um, the the strategy is not going crazy let's put it that way and it's not really going overboard with the uh, the size of the trade so it keeps on to, to the minimum here so just as um, at a 0 0.01 a lot um, and you can see it 
kind of sticks to this and uh, although it maybe takes it a while until the trade is closed still it shows good results and um, the strategy works and especially if we can see we can see that this year so far um, in January it came back with 2.65 percent February came back with 4.46 and so far March is running uh, at a profit uh, at 1.58 percent so overall it's coming back for this year for now at 8.93%. So very good, decent results. Um, of course, you can see by the chart here, by the growth, um, we do have some other uh, areas that where you can have a look at it as well. Um, oh, by the way, if we look at the equity to balance deviation on this one, now you can see that um, for now, the I mean, in general, the uh, the strategy tends to keep uh, the equity to balance deviation on to, uh, to the low side. Of course, don't get me wrong, 2019 was slightly an exception, especially in May time. And uh, if we look at the the chart here on the GBP USD, um, you can see that we had a bit of a slide here, but um, maybe the conditions here were not uh, the best, were not, um, were not kind of uh, triggering all the right um, uh, ticks, or I should say, not hitting all the right ticks. Um, but nevertheless, nevertheless, guys, looking at the monthly returns, the strategy came back nicely here with in, in, in profit. Um, 2018 gains kind of covered the uh, the slight losses uh, made in 2019. So right now, it like I said, the strategy is kind of back on track. Um, we can see that um, the equity continues to grow here as well. Um, in terms of, of volume, um, it, the volume is kind of kept to a, to a minimum. Um, the size of the trades here. So, um, yep, um, in, uh, in you can see that in in 2019 made around uh, not not a full 12 uh, lots here. Um, so, yep something to consider guys you can see the equity here this is the little drop that we had here that uh, little uh, kind of equity to balance deviation um but as you can see after that the strategy came back on it kind of it was always kind of on track to be, to be honest apart from this little uh, kind of uh, hiccup let's we can call it a hiccup um in the month of may 2019 so and so far the um the uh the the chart kind of the chart is kind of speaking for itself um, you can see that it just continues to uh, perform quite well and just doesn't really deviate too much from the um, from the uh, from the balance um, so the equity does not deviate much from the balance so yeah, guys, um, like I said, there are a bunch of strategies you can have a look at here. Um, let me just jump back into all these uh, strategies. So these are, for now, these are filtered by the uh, kind of total return. Um, one of the strategies that we saw uh, last uh, last month, um, so for example, the, mm, the, the the power effects and the butterfly. So the butterfly was uh, was the third best performer in the month of January. So uh, this this month um, uh, this month is a little bit on the slower side. Let's put it that way. And uh, yep, for now. For now, guys, um, this this is the table. How you can have a look at it. Of course, you can you can just uh, see which strategy is more uh, kind of closer to your preferences. Um, but um, yep. Uh, always, like I said, always kind of uh, have a look at this one, and uh, I believe you can find something, something that it would could be out of uh, could be of interest to you. Um, for example, if we jump back into pip generator, some certain things that, of course, we need to mention as well. Um, so the uh, here you can you can have more details. You can find a lot of details and how everything is done. How um, you can um, you can add, you can follow it you can uh, you can add it to your favorites and if you see that you really like it then yes you can click on follow and then um, you can basically sign up for this uh, for this strategy um, as well something to keep an eye on of course and mention is the uh, the way the fees are, are uh, adjusted of course as every um, every service provider we do have our fees but uh, we try we tend to be uh, quite um, 
uh, good, let's put it that way, with our our fees because uh, we only charge you um, we only charge a 25% profit fee on, um, on a profit only if you make the make profit. If you don't make any profit, then there, there is no charge. So yep, guys. Um, I hope this video kind of was helpful. This is like I said, this this is one of those videos that we do on a monthly basis, um, just to have a quick overview of of some of these strategies that we're that are running, uh, let's say, quite well in on our JFD Invest platform. Um, so yeah, um, if you do have more questions, you we we we're, we're here. We're always happy to answer those. And uh, um, as always, guys, you can reach us out on the phone, or if you you can just quickly send us an email, or or if you want your preferred live chat. Yep, that's also uh, something that we do. So um, okay, guys. As always, I really hope you found it useful. I really hope to see you next month in one of these videos as well, where we're going to have a quick review on um, on other strategies. I mean, I, I we'll see which ones have performed the best in, for in the month of March. And uh, yeah, I hope you have, guys, a uh, wonderful, if you're trading yourself, and yep, have a wonderful trading day. Um, um, if you're, uh, But as always, if you're not really in, to kind of you don't want to uh, risk, uh, let's say yourself or anything, or you prefer to see somebody trading for you. Um, yep, this is where GFD Invest might come in for in handy. Anyway, have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you later. Thank you very much, and bye bye.